Welcome back to our 10th video in our WordPress tutorial for beginners. Today, we are going to talk about categories in WordPress. Categories are used to organize your posts on your website. Posts are also referred to as blog posts. It is the same thing, just a different name for it. Currently, we have only one post, so making categories really does not seem to be important. Hang on for a second. Let's suppose that you have over a hundred posts on your website. Categories help in organizing your posts so that in case your website visitor needs to get to specific information in a specific category, they do not have to go through all the 100 posts. People normally do not scroll through a hundred posts. They just leave the website and search for another site which has posts in proper categories. Let's use another example of gunholster.co, where we have over 40 blog posts. Instead of going through each and every post, you can simply categorize your posts. This way, when a visitor visits your website, they can simply go to the categories and search what they are looking for. All the related and relevant content will be found in one place. Categories makes content more searchable and find able. Categories can also have subcategories within them. More on this later. Let us make a few categories on our website. Go to your dashboard and click on Posts. Once you click on Posts, click on Categories. This is our category area. You can add, delete, view, and manage all your categories from this area of the dashboard. Now, if you want to create a new category, you have to write the name here and click on Add New Category. So, if you want to create a new category, just write the name and add new category. It should appear on the right side. These are those categories which are created by default. In WordPress, whenever you make a post, it has to be assigned to a category. If you do not assign the post to any category, WordPress will automatically assign it to a default category which is called uncategorized. However, in this Astra theme, it is not called uncategorized. It is called blog. Normally, it is called uncategorized. Since this category is a default category of the Astra WordPress theme, there is no option to delete it and you cannot delete it. However, you can change its name. Let's change the name. Simply go and press edit and type in the new name. Let's say from blog to blog news and posts. Press update. Let's go back to your categories page and you can see that the name has changed to blog news and posts. So you can't delete it, but you can always rename it. We're going to keep the original name. This was just to show you. To create a new category, simply go and write the name of the new category. Since this is a website about leather products, let's create a category called Leather Maintenance. Slug. What is a slug? It is the URL friendly version of the category that you want to create. Just leave it. WordPress will automatically add the best slug name. Go to Add New Category. Once you press that, you'll see that it automatically shows here. And you can see there's a delete button here because this is a category which we made ourselves so we can delete it or rename it anytime. But this blog, you cannot delete it because this is added by default. Let's add more categories. As you can see, the categories are showing up on the right side. And let's add one more called Leather Jackets. Let's add it and we'll see it showing up there. Let's add another category called Leather Care Accessories. Now, what if you want to create a subcategory? Let's create a subcategory. To create a subcategory, write down the name of the subcategory. How about Leather Cleaning Tips? This should appear as a subcategory of Leather Maintenance, since they are both related. And now let's make it a subcategory. 
So go down to the parent category and choose leather maintenance. Now, once you choose leather maintenance here, this will now be a subcategory. Click add new category and you can see this dash. This means that leather cleaning tips is a subcategory of leather maintenance. Now let's go back and refresh and see how our categories look like. We can see that they are shown alphabetically. This is your default category, the rest we just created right now. Now suppose you want to delete a category. All you have to do is go over to the category and just press the delete button. Suppose you want to delete leather accessories. Press delete and it's gone. It is important to remember once you delete a category, you cannot undo it. Okay, let's suppose that you want to change a category of a post on your site. There are two ways to do it. The first way to change the category of a post is to go to posts and click on all posts. We only have one post here, but that's okay. We can still use it as an example. Click on quick edit. We can see all the categories that we just created are showing here. Now, uncheck blog, which is the default category, and just check the box of the category in which you would like the post to appear in. So let us check the leather jackets box. Press update, and if you look closely, the category has changed. If you uncheck all the categories of the post, it will automatically select blog, since that is the default category for this Astra WordPress theme. That was the quick way to edit a category from the post page. You can also edit the category directly from the specific post page as well. This is the second way. So, go to post and choose from which post you want to change the category. We have only one post here. Click on edit. Click on post and go down to where categories are mentioned. Just like our previous method, first uncheck the category, in this case it's blog, and then simply check the new category that you want to choose. Click on update and go to the all posts page. You can see here that the category has been changed. You can also check how many posts you have under each category. Let's use the other website we have, gunholster.co, go to the dashboard, and click on posts and then categories. On the extreme right-hand side column, under count, you can see the number of posts under each category. As you can see, some have two posts, some have one post only, and some have 12 posts. Let's click on the first one here. WordPress will now only display those posts labeled under that category. We can see that there are only two posts under this category. Now let's go and make a few posts. Then we will show you how to add the three posts in each of their respective categories. Finally, we will show you how to add the categories in the main menu. It is quite common to add the categories to the main menu for website readers so that they can see the posts for their desired topics quickly. To save time, I have already created three different posts. This is the first post. Make sure you click the post tab here. Then go down to the categories and select the relevant category for the post. We are also going to set a featured image. Click Upload and then select Files. Once you choose the file, make sure to click Set Featured Image. Finally, publish the post. It will ask you again and press Publish. We are going to do the same again with this post. Just make sure to choose the relevant category. Then we will set the featured image. And save it. Publish the post. Finally, the third post. Make sure to select the relevant category and set the featured image. Once you choose the featured image, press set featured image. Make sure to publish the post. 
Now, if you go to All Posts, you can see that all the posts are being shown here after being published. Please also note the different categories in which the posts have been posted can be seen here. The last step is to add the categories to our main page menu so that they can be easily accessed by the visitors to the website. To go to the menus, select Appearance and then click on Menus. This is our primary menu. We have a detailed video on this which you can find in our playlist. These four items are already being shown on our main menu. Now, to add the categories that we created to our menu, go down and click here where it says Categories. Make sure to click all the three categories and press on Add to Menu. You can see that the three categories are now being shown on our menu. It is important to remember that posts are also known as blog posts, so it would be better to show them under the blog post menu that was created earlier. To make the categories a sub-menu under our blog post menu, simply align the menu to the right and sub-item will appear. Don't forget to save menu. Just a minute. Remember that leather cleaning tips was a subcategory, so we need to align it to the right further under leather maintenance. Now, it will show as a submenu and a subcategory. Before we save and go to our website, let's move around the menus a bit. Blog posts should be second on our menu due to its importance. Just move around the menus to rearrange them. Then click on Save Menu. Now go to your website and refresh it. The default page shows all the posts you made on the website. We have a total of four posts. Look at the menu. You can see an arrow next to Blog Post, which was not there before. This means there are menus under Blog Post. Click it and you will see the two main categories and one subcategory of leather cleaning tips under leather maintenance. You can directly go to the post you want from the main menu without scrolling through all the posts. Let's say we want to go to the post on leather cleaning tips. Just go to it directly from the menu. Well, you just created three posts, added it to the relevant category, and finally added the categories to the main menu for quick and easy access. You can also change the names of the categories or delete them from the menu. Click Appearance and then Menu. Go to the category that you want to rename. Click on it here. Now just enter the new name. Let us change it to Leather Polish, for example. If you want to delete it, you can click on Remove, but we don't want to delete it right now. Then go to Save Menu, click it. Then go to your website and refresh it. And you will see the difference. Well, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it for you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. We appreciate your feedback, so drop your questions and thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next video.